So let's take a look at how we can use PowerPoint to create some really great graphics. Okay, so I opened up PowerPoint. I'm using 2010, but most of these things can be done in 2013 or 2013 or 2007 as well. 2003, not so much. Okay, so I've got this blank page, but let's just go ahead and click on design. And there are a lot of great designs in here already, but perhaps you don't like the colors. So you can pull down here and choose a different color scheme. If you don't like any of the existing color schemes, but you like one that's pretty much there, you can pick it and then click on create new color scheme. And what you do is you take a look at what's already there, like this um, uh, kind of lime green and if I want to change that lime green to a different color I can just click on more colors and I can pick some standard colors if I like or I could go to custom and pick about what I want and click OK and I can just keep moving through here changing the things that I see if I don't like that gray and I want let's say maybe an orange I can find that and click OK. And then when I'm done, I click Save, and you'll see that my theme has now um, changed. Then um, under Insert, Word Art's really great to use. And let's say I need a header for a web page or something like that. And then under insert the clip art, oh my gosh, Microsoft has such great clip art anymore. So let's say I want um, a school, something that looks like a school. And there are everything from clip arty type things to actually photos. And I'll say I want this one, I just click and drag it over. I can resize this and then when I double click on this um, I might have to click on the format tab I can do all kinds of fun things here I can do the same thing with this as well under format underneath my text out text effects I can pull down here get some shadows put on that text um, and I can even make it look beveled if I like. I can do all kinds of cool things to the text and um, to the pictures that I put on. Say I want that look instead. Okay, let's say that this is basically what I want. I don't want too much else. Maybe I want to copy this and put a couple different versions of it also bring one and put it behind. I would just right click and say send to back and I could make it bigger if I wanted and I could even under for right click, I'm right clicking format picture. Um, I can adjust the contrast and brightness if I want, brighten up that picture a little bit or not. I can sharp it. I can do some other picture corrections. And um, I can work on softening the edges. I can do all kinds of things in here. And I can also change the transparency if I like. Besides right clicking and format, again, I could double click on here. And I have some corrections that I could make on here and just see if I like any of these suggestions that are here underneath color and under picture color options will take me right back um, to that right click once I'm satisfied I'm going to move this over and decide I like this instead if I like this, then the easiest way to do this is snip it with the snipping tool. So I'm just going to pull up my search and type in snip, find the snipping tool, and you'll notice if I snip right now, 
something selected and that's not going to look so good. So I'm just going to click to the outside, make sure nothing is selected, and then go back to my snipping tool. Now I'm going to click and drag around what I like. And here's my save button and I have a great JPEG that I could use for a header somewhere. I could do it in my poster. I could um, do whatever I wanted with this. Um, just simply by saving and I can save it as a JPEG, a GIF, or a ping. Now if this had a transparent background I would save it as a ping otherwise JPEG gives you the best color options. And just save it and it's ready to go. So PowerPoint can be used for great, creating great graphics on the go.